So electric current is the rate of flow of positive charge. But electrons are the things that move in conductors, right? Hang on, aren't electrons negative? How's that supposed to make sense? Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Today we'll be talking about what electrons are doing in conventional current. Electric current flows in a circuit so long as there's a source of potential difference, aka voltage. A battery is an example of something that can provide potential difference. Before we talk about the movement of electrons, it's important to note that the charges are already in the circuit. Take a look at this little cartoon. Here we have the components for a simple circuit. We have some cells, all together we call them a battery, and a lamp. When we connect them together in a continuous loop or circuit, a current can flow. However, a common misconception is that when we connect the circuit together, charge flows out of the battery into the circuit. This is wrong. Charge doesn't flow out of the battery and into the circuit. Electrical components such as wires, lamps, batteries are conductors, which means that loose electric charges are already in the circuit. And when a potential difference is applied, all the charges move at once like one big conga line, or better yet, a bit like a bike chain. When I move one link on the bike chain, the rest of the chain moves as well. Positive charges are repelled from the positive end of the battery, causing all the positive charges to move around the circuit. Uh, hang on, you said that electrons are negative. Why are you talking about them as if they're positive? Ah yes, you see, in physics the convention is to measure the rate of flow of positive charge. This is why we call it the conventional current. In fact, when people talk about current, they do mean rate of flow of positive charge, because that's just the convention. When the electron was discovered, it turns out that the electrons were the things that were actually moving in the circuit. And the movement of negative charges in one direction is effectively the same as the movement of positive charges in the opposite direction. Consider this pipe. There are two negative charges and two positive charges on one side of the pipe, and the same on the other side of the pipe. At the moment, both sides of the pipe are neutral. Bear with me. If a negative charge moves from the right hand side to the left, the right hand side is now more positive than it was before. Alternatively, if a positive charge moves from the left hand side to the right, the right hand side is again more positive than it was before. The flow of negative charge in one direction is equivalent to the flow of positive charge in the other direction. In summary, when we say that conventional current has positive charge moving around a circuit in this direction, what's actually happening is negative electrons are flowing in the opposite direction because the effect is the same. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please do feel free to comment below with any suggestions of upcoming videos you'd like to see and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, wow, that's bright. A battery is an example of something that can provide...